In 1977, NASA launched twin probes Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. What started out as a mission to explore the planets of Jupiter and Saturn has evolved into an adventure to the interstellar region beyond our sun's realm. At launch, the vehicles took advantage of a unique alignment of the planets, allowing the spacecrafts to slingshot through our solar system. This gravity assist method saved fuel and time by using the gravitational fields of the planets to change direction and increase velocity. During the late 1970s and 80s, the Voyager spacecraft visited all of the large planets in our outer solar system. Along the way, they made some interesting discoveries. Their images mapped Jupiter's cloud formations and found volcanic activity on the moon Io. While both craft's instruments still provide meaningful data, some of the technology on board seems retro by today's standards. For instance, both Voyager vehicles carry pictures, music, and messages of greetings in 55 languages etched on a 12-inch gold-plated record. Building on the work of the Voyager probes, NASA sought to make a more in-depth examination of the ring planet Saturn launching the Cassini orbiter in 1997. After a 2.2 billion mile journey, Cassini entered Saturn's orbit in 2004, carrying the smaller Huygens probe. The mission is focused on the moons and rings of Saturn, where scientists hope to find clues to help answer questions about how planets form and even how life began on Earth. Already, Cassini has sent back some of the sharpest pictures ever taken of Saturn's majestic rings. Huygens made a successful landing on Titan, one of Saturn's many moons. Descending through the thick atmosphere, the probe relayed pictures and surface data that revealed a body not unlike a young Earth, showing evidence of tectonic movement, wind, erosion, and possibly even volcanic activity. While Cassini continues its mission to study Saturn, the Voyager craft are soldiering on with what may be their most important objective yet. Hurtling through space, they are now in searching of the heliopause, the area where our sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. And as their infinite journey continues, scientists will be eagerly receiving transmissions from Voyager 1 and 2 as they sharpen our view of the universe beyond our solar system.